Hello everyone, welcome back to Beauty by Trish. And today I am coming to you with a Mother's Day collab. Lynette came up with this idea and um, she enlisted Lori to help her out. So they are getting some of us girls together and I will list down below everybody's video for the Mother's Day collab. So please go check them out. Thank you, Lori and Lynette, for inviting me to be part of this. I love to do things like this. It's so much fun. And then you get to go watch everybody and see what they came up with. This is, in fact, what I came up with. As my foundation today, I used the Kevin Acon. This is their liquid airbrush foundation. This is amazing. It goes on beautiful. It gives a flawless finish. It has, I would say, a medium plus to a full coverage, but it's not a heavy looking foundation. So definite plus for that. I used my Matte Pro Longwear as my concealer today in my Georgie Armani in number one, the pink color, to correct some of under my eye issues. I then went in and used my NARS under my eye, my Rimmel Stay Matte to set the rest of my face. For my eyeliners, I used my Jessie's Girl on my lid. I used my MAC Feline to do my upper and lower water and tight line. And then I went in with the Scandalize in purple. So in my lash line on my lower lashes. And then I set that with the same colors that I used on the top of my lashes. Now, I explain in the video, and I'll just say it again because I seem to repeat myself a lot. I like to use a very neutral transition color when I'm using a lot of color. So I did use Frisk right here as my transition color in my crease. And then the rest of the colors that are on my eye are out of this flirt flirting at the after party that Wet n Wild came out with last year. These are really, really pretty colors. There are several mattes in there. There's a couple satins. Just beautiful. I did look, and Amazon still has this for, I believe, $8.59 if you are interested in this palette. And like I said, the colors are beautiful. They blend very nicely together. Other than my Naked 2 for my transition color, everything else on my eyes is this palette. So this is a really nice palette. It was a kind of a wet and wild day. I used the Caramel Toffee as my contour. I apologize. As my contour colors. And then I did go in with this highlight collar and I did um, do a little extra work there right under my cheek. And then as far as my bronze, my blush, and my highlight, I used Fair Trade Coffee from their limited edition trio that they have. These are absolutely stunning. Look at the colors. Look at the pigmentation. It's just a really nice palette. I believe it was $3.99 at Rite Aid is where I found it. For my lips, I believe this was one of the Star Looks pencils that I got in one of my Ipsy boxes and this is in the color Bare. This is a really really very creamy nice lip liner. I paired it with Melted Fig is what I have on my lips because once you put one of these melted lip colors on your lips it is there and I just really really enjoy these melted lip products. Then to finish it off and make sure everything stayed put I used my Makeup Forever Finishing Spray love 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 this stuff it really does keep everything right where you want it right where you put it in place and your whole face looks fresh for hours and hours and hours i did go ahead and polish my nails i was going to use a really light one from orly that i showed you that i will be showing you um on into the clip that i'll come back with my nails painted as and i went ahead and did that and i was like this looks hideous. So I took that off and I repainted it and I used Wet n Wild 217B Disturbia Sun 
So that is what I used on my nails. I'm just, I really thank you, Lynette and Lori, for inviting me to be a part of this collab with some terrific ladies here on YouTube. Once again, please check down below and get the links and go watch their Mother Day looks. It's a lot of fun to do, and we have as much fun as you guys do watching it because then we get to go see everybody else's and encourage and support them. Thank you guys, and I really hope that you have a blessed Mother's Day. Prepare. Uh, you're about to see me without anything on my face. So have a blessed day, and I will see you in the next video. Bye. Okay, so let's get started. I've already primed my face and my eyes. I am using today for my foundation my Kevin Akon, his liquid airbrush. This is a beautiful foundation if you haven't tried it. It is a nice option to give a try. So I'm going to, I love a brush that does the work for me. And this Kevin Akon liquid airbrush, that was in number LQ08. As my hair is lightening, my um, brow whiz pencil is getting way, way <laughs> too dark. I'm going to go in with my brulee because I had not yet set the concealer I put there on my inner eye and my eyeshadow primer. I like to use a neutral transition color when I am, especially when I'm doing um, a lot of colors. I just like to go in with something that is going to just start the process of blending everything very very nicely very smoothly and I went to flirting at the after party I don't know if I don't know how many of you have this um, if you don't have this any purple eyeshadows the petal pusher would do is it not going to focus there we go so I just checked for you guys and this flirting at the after party this palette if you guys missed it last year it came out in spring of last year they do have these on Amazon if this is a palette that you missed that you didn't know about and you think you might want to add it to your collection um, they have it on Amazon for eight. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Eight forty-two. I am going to start with this color. And I'm going to use my big brush. I'm going to take it up almost to the border of where that really neutral. this color right here you guys know I like the look of the really light lid I'm going to take this really pretty purple I want to brighten up the outer part and even though we're going to end up covering up some of it you're still going to see it peek through I'm going to go in with this really pretty color. And I'm going to, I'm going to use a mirror here so I can see what I'm doing. And I'm just going to stamp that. I'm going to take this brighter purple on this brush. And where we left off right here, I'm going to use that and bring that in a little bit. And notice how far down my hand is on the handle.
I'm going to go into the pinky collar. I always take a huggy wipe. I'm not pulling, I'm holding. And I clean, do some pretty substantial concealer. I'm just doing my own little mixture. I rarely use anything, just straight product. Giorgio Armani corrector. And I just like to do a little bit of this goes an extremely long way. And that's where I like to have my smaller more detailed brush. Now I'm back to setting with my with my Rimmel stain mat. Oh yeah. Can you hear my eyelash curler? That's annoying. I'm going to use my Jessie's Girl eyeliner. I'm going to go ahead and tight line with the MAC. This is feline. Yes, feline. I did bring that down into my waterline a little bit also, but I'm going to add to it. And I'm going to go almost right over top of that. right into my lash line. For mascara I'm going to use my Voluminous Waterproof. I use my Wet n Wild Contouring Palette and this is in Caramel Toffee. Now there are two. This is the one, it's like my Marc Jacobs. It's the, sorry, it's the pinker of the two. But in my Walmart, and I have heard like whispers through blogs and such, that Walmart is only slotting for this caramel toffee. Um, they're not making a permanent home for the one that has a little more of a yellow tone. I'm going to be using both of these again. And it feels like it would be absolutely perfect. Now this Wet n Wild contour is a very soft contour very soft so like I said my tan has faded some if I was like later in the summer I probably wouldn't be able to wear it I'm just going to contour right here and right here I'm going to take just a little bit and put right there. I like to make my forehead look a little bit smaller. I'm going to go into this bronzer in this Fair Trade Coffee. Tap, tap. my Reserve Your Cabana. I love to put this on my neck. Go ahead and um, just use this for my blush too because it's super soft. Now this blush is super pigmented so start right here. The thing with using a kabuki for your blush especially is it blends it as you go. 
back to this brush that I used for my contour and I'm going to wipe it off. I'm going to go to this lighter shade. Anytime you're really wanting to give your face just like an extra little boop, then just go to the lighter color and right here. And like I said, when you're using a kabuki style brush or a dense brush that is very soft like this one, and this is just a round kabuki, it does it for you. Like that. See? Just a very slight push up. Like that. You I love the highlight in this this small amount I mean that look at that can you see where I just did that I mean the smallest these for my lips I'm using this is from I think this is from star looks and it's, I got it in like an Ipsy and it's almost gone. It's in the color Bare. And I'm going to use Melted Fig by Too Faced. Because once you put this on, once you put this on, you don't have to worry about it again. Okay, I am going to go take my hair down. And I want to paint my nails this really pretty color from Orly to paint my nails this really pretty color from Orly. It is Harmonious Mess. It's a really pretty, very light purple color. I know, I wore black nail polish all last month and now I'm going for something this light. That's just the way I roll. Okay guys, I will be back with my hair done, my nails painted, and let you see my finished Mother's Day look. So I am back. This is the finished look. I really hope that you all enjoyed this and I hope even more so that you each have a blessed and a happy Mother's Day. Um, life's short. They grow up quick. Um, you know, I can roll, still remember when my girls were tiny and I would dress them up in a special dress for Mother's Day because we always got a rose at church and there's one picture that's very vivid in my mind. Um, I had picked a flower dress. They were the same dress, but Samantha's was blue and Jackie's was pink. And I can still see that picture. And after about the fifth take, the look on both of them like. <laughs> and of course, you know, then we have Hunter who is 18 now and graduates in less than three weeks and then he will be on his way to start his new life in Michigan. So my prayer for all of you is to get to spend time with your family, to enjoy every moment and be blessed, be happy, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.